if you're in the camera. Hello, guys. Hey, guys. All right. Um, so I'm sure I'm not the first person to do this, but I'm going to make a... What the freaking... Every time I go to hit you, it hits somebody else. There we are. Jimmy Valmina. Um, Whopper Max, right? The style of a Big Mac, but no special Mac sauce. It's straight up Whoppers with cheddar cheese, seeded potato buns, french fries, and light honey mustard. I don't need to tell you why. These burgers have been done for the last half an hour or so, probably longer, but I wrapped them up in tin foil to keep the heat in without overcooking them. Uh, crinkle cut french fries, special green drink. These might be the best burgers I've ever made and I haven't even tasted it yet. Hello, Abby. Hello, Ryan. Oh, hello, Abby. Hello, Ryan. How are you guys? That is like saying a lot. If I'm predicting, and I said this to Kaki when I pulled the um the top over off of the burgers with the cheese melted. I'm like, Kaki, these might be the best burgers I've ever made. And she goes, you might be right, because the smell, the, the, the way I put it together, they smell just, delicious. Yeah, I just have a I have a strong feeling for them. And I had three pieces of pizza today for lunch because I didn't finish last night's dinner. And I've been hungry for the last four days. So I had three pieces of pizza for lunch today. And it was good. It was real good. Hello, G-Star. Kaki, why don't you tell me what you got? Hello, Shirley. Well, I was waiting until you stopped jabbering. So I have... Um, Kielbasa with some sauerkraut and some pierogies. Give you guys a close up. Mm. You should have seen what those kielbasas looked like before they were cut up. Yeah, before it was cut up. Look at it. It looked like a giant wiener. We had some dirty talk. Yes. And um, I don't like the smell of it, the cooking of it. But whenever I do taste khakis, which he eats makes it, it anyway. He loves yeah. it. He loves the way it tastes. I'm a rodeo clown. So. What do you want me to say? Hello, Court. How you doing, my friend? Hello, Cortland. You heard I said kill Bossa, and you were like, I'm here. <laughs> I mean, I, you're probably not, but. Hello, Shelly. <laughs> probably not, um, but. So know. let me tell you guys about today. We. Today was like bizarre world, and not in a bad way. Um, hello, Larry. I went into yeah, work. Yeah, you heard my comment, Court. Hell yes. The last <laughs> three days have been like easy peasy, but for instance, tonight I knew I had plans on trying to at least watch one episode of the Vince McMahon documentary, and I was gonna wait for Kaki to do it. Sure I enough. Watch it. The night that we were going to decide to do this, we didn't have the time to really get an early start. So we didn't start doing setup, cooking, prepping uh, until like 10 o'clock. We didn't put the Vince McMahon first episode on until like after 10.30. 10 we didn't yeah. even finish the first episode. But I was telling Kaki, I'm like, this is something we need silence and no interference and no like getting our attention taken away from it yeah <laughs> but from what i saw i think it i think it's great so far yeah we didn't finish we didn't even finish the first episode yet but what's for dinner tonight i've got a combination of a big mac and a whopper two of them french fries and honey mustard khaki's got kielbasa i do i have kielbasa hell yes hell yes Hey, you too. Love you. Love you both. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you, Kevin yeah. Marion. Oh, thank you, right. girl. Appreciate it. Well, here we go. But you Moment always of... love us, so that's okay. Moment of truth. Was my... Oh, French fries are cold. It's all right. I kind of... I'm getting like five guys feels wrapping it out of tinfoil. Oh, guarantee you it didn't cost the amount of... <laughs> the money that five guys did. No. no, no, no. Let's get the tinfoil out of here. Hold on. 
I have mustard. I cannot eat this meal without mustard. And I squirted mustard all over the fucking place. Oh well. All right. Got napkins. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a whopper, all right. Uh, Bucky just says Kool Aid. No, can I have it? I got it all in my beard. I was watching clips from last night, and there was like a good couple of minutes where I wiped my chin, but I had it at the very end. And I'm like, oh my goodness, that's so annoying. So people that watch us live or the next day, I get what you're talking about. I need to pay more attention to the shit that I get in my beard. 9.6. This is pretty damn good. Man, I could do burgers good. I could do pizzas good. The messier, the tastier. Well, this is damn near delicious. Um, if you decide to pick it up and try it, I have a napkin. Like, right there. Hello, Jenny. Yummy. LG, kielbasa plus horseradish. I don't have horseradish, though. What's up, Ken? I just have spicy mustard. Too much ketchup. A little bit too much mayo. Hello, Mr. Savvy. But um, at the end of the day, very good. Seasoned really good. I have a burger, uh, not trick, but I have a burger method that I do when I smash them. And it always knocks it out of the park. But um, yeah, this is good. I'm not, I'm not disappointed. I'm not disappointed either. Mine is freaking delicious. You need to visit for some of that stuffed pizza you made a few videos back. Stuffed pizza? A few videos back. Mm hmm. I don't remember. No. A few videos back? Mm hmm. You obviously do. I don't. Let's, let's hear it out. I don't remember where you put it in it, but it was freaking delicious. I don't remember it. Oh, what's this stuffed pizza? Remember? No, I don't have. I don't have the slightest clue. What's up, John? Can't see khaki as well. I'll move it, cat. Vodka chicken stuffed pizza. Vodka chicken stuffed pizza. Yes, you did the whole. You did the whole thing where you freaking. It was two pizza doughs. You put the other one on top, and then you like. Stop it. Okay, I remember that. Oh, Captain Beer, hold on one second. Let me wash my hands before I touch my uh, iPad. That is good, but it wasn't great. Just curious why y'all eat so late. How do you feel like getting up in the morning for work? I hate my whole life when I get up in the morning for work because I have to get up at 5.30. <laughs> I hate my whole life. Actually, this morning, because I didn't feel so well. Oh, let me see if you remember this one. I, Go I, ahead. Keep on talking about this morning. I, I, I contemplated my whole life this morning when I was brushing my teeth. I was just like, <laughs> do I really want to go to work today? I'm like, I really don't feel good. I probably shouldn't go to work today. I really don't want to go to work today. I was like, guess what? I'm hey, just, Mama, I'm just going to go to work, and if I feel bad, I'm going to go home. Once I got to work, realized oh shit we have no fucking help <laughs> i can't go home did i text you once i was here once i was at work i was like oh fuck i'm just done did I, I just can't go did I, I can't go home. did i text you this morning on my way to work saying let's go home or no. was it yesterday mm -mm. you didn't even text me that can you all come on earlier no Unfortunately, we can't. We would love to, but we can't. I would 100% love to come on earlier, but we can't do it. So, I, um... No, that's not what you said, though. I know what you're talking about. It was today. You, you said, this was yesterday, you said, let's just say F it. We're not going to work tomorrow. 
we're gonna go to AEW and we're gonna go hang out with Emmy. And I was just like, I'm not calling out of work. Mm -hmm. I'm glad I didn't call out of work because they would have been screwed. Okay. Big time. And I don't, here's the thing, what I don't like calling out of work because I know I'm screwing, screwing other people over. I just, can't, up, I just can't live with that. Yeah. Well, let me tell you how our morning started. And Kaki obviously does not remember. Oh, la, CJ. I don't remember. This morning? You definitely don't because you would have brought it up. Kaki's alarm went off. At, I set her alarms last night because she was like looking at her phone and she set Yeah, because I was so damn tired. I couldn't freaking see clearly. She set alarms for five minutes ahead of the actual time it was. Um, she set 10 minutes alarms from the time it was, 140, 145. I'm like, I'll just do it. So I said the, the, the time she wanted to get up. She said, yeah, yeah, boom, done. Um, alarm clock comes, it goes off. Her alarm keeps on going off. I see her messing around, trying to shut it off. She's not touching her phone. She's touching like some sort of calendar or a book. And she's like, it's not shutting off. I'm like, it's not your phone. That's what happens when I'm half asleep. I'm like, holy shit. And then she drops it. Are you picking up a book? Or a cat, whatever it was you have. Mister, I like, can't use alarms to wake me up. Don't even go there. Because you know what? You you have a person to wake you up in the morning. You don't wake me up. Your mom does. No, she don't. I get up on my own. I, the mental note. Sometimes. If I oversleep, yes. But um, I will look at the cable box until... 7.15 and then I get up. Why would you set an alarm for an hour after you went to bed? Because <laughs> Gaggy was really tired last night. Mama Perk. I was fucking exhausted. You're my hero because I couldn't do that? I bet you I would be a lot of people's heroes if they actually knew the shit that I do. <laughs> On a consistent basis. Every single night. I, I question myself sometimes. Like, how do you, how, like, you must yeah, not I know. be normal. It falls in my hair. It falls in my hair every single night. Kagi's hair, my beard, we're just like, uh, you would think if you're seeing us for the very first time, you're like, oh, these guys must be into food fighting. <laughs> we're into something. Yeah. You need rest? I'm thinking, and nothing is guaranteed. I probably won't be able to do it even if I tell you guys I want to do it. I'm thinking me and Kaki take a break from social media for like a couple of weeks, maybe months, and get like a, a refresh. Now, I say that because I'm just talking, right? I don't think, I think this is like a drug that I've never experienced before because me and Kaki got into a really serious fight like four months ago, five months mm -hmm. ago to the point where we were both saying screw it she was laying down, I was laying down on different floors of the house we both couldn't fall asleep and we met down here because we were hungry and we made up and the show happened but that might have been the closest it's ever happened it was like four months ago February. <clears throat> we got McDonald's that night. It was February. Because oh. I ended up having the flu. Mm -hmm. I remember the exact time it was. Yeah. I had the flu. Hello, Nancy. Right before I turned out to like look like the guy from freaking the Goonies. Right before my eyes swelled up. I looked like a freaking weirdo. I say I want to do it. And I think deep down, I really do. But you guys, especially you guys that have been watching us for a long time, have heard me say that we're going to do something like taking a break from social media, and it, it doesn't happen. I'm such a firm believer. If it's one thing that I never steer away from, 
is that whole method. Once you do something one time, it makes it easier to do it a second time. And that could go for good things and bad things. So, um, and you know, that night that we were just talking about where we were both laying down, the shit that was going through my head was not fun. Bloomin' onions. Sam. No. I will surely miss you. Yeah, I don't think we're doing that. So, I have this whole... Oh, hello, my mouth. Hello, Larry. Hello, hello, guys. Hello, How are you Munchkin. guys doing? I have this whole idea. If we were to do that, this show would transfer to something else. And it would pro you, probably get, you guys would probably would like it more. It would just be a lot less khaki, more of a me show because um, we're mom and dad during the day. So it's like, I can. So a lot less me and it's just going to be about you and people would like it more? Got it. Well, what I had planned, it would be more, you would still be there, but it would be more of a, you looking to fight tonight? No, I'm just going off of what you just said. Yeah, you're very alert. I see that. Well, that's not where I was going. I would make it more, you see how I do with the editing, right? How I'm like very peculiar with like this things. I have a whole bunch. That's what I said. You said peculiar. Same thing. <laughs> no, it's not. It's a totally different I'm word. Very, I'm very, like, uh... Particular. Whatever. <laughs> I'm very, <laughs> like, uh... I want things done a certain way. And I have, like, a whole bunch of ideas for the last, like, two years that I haven't even done, right? And... But it's more of, like, a close one chapter, start another. So, Kaki would still be a part of it. It just wouldn't be the full 60 minutes of what we're doing right now. That's what I meant by that. <laughs> she looks so pleased with you, Jamie. Oh, of course. She always is. Always. Hmm? I'm being sarcastic. My mouth, I need to talk to you when you have time. Last time we talked about my evil sister. Kathy's being narci narcissistic mm. behavior? Oh my goodness. Okay, whatever. We're probably talking about me, Chico. Okay. That's like me saying like... Evil sister, oh my god, what she's been doing. My milf. Yes, we need to talk. We need to talk, you and I. Um... Can Jamie stop while you're behind? Yeah, Jamie needs to quit while he's ahead. Before he is behind. <laughs> I'm going to be behind. I'm not worried about that. I was, He's going to be behind not too much I'm, I, longer hold, from here. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. Uh, like maybe mukbangs? No. No, no, no. <sighs> yes, for the cookie corner? No. <laughs> Here's the deal. If we ever stop doing this show, it's going to be because of like uh, me trying to get back on track with everything I used to do. And what I meant by like, I have editing ideas that I, I don't ever see. And if I were to implement that and spend a good amount of time on it, it would be a certain way to where it would keep people's attention into what they're watching, not get bored of it. Yes, my mouth, you and I, we need to catch up. We need to catch up, big time. That narcissistic thing? They said behavior. I was just turning it on you. They meant me. You hear me? Mm-hmm. That a boy, Jamie. Drive that train. Choo-choo! <laughs> I will. Um, I don't know if we're still going to Florida. We're not going to Florida. No. No. Um, last year, we had all the plans in the world to go there. We're still moving. Florida is like 95% not happening. 
not happening. One day, if we when we have the money and we have like, and we have like the option to move anywhere we want, we probably would pick Florida. But um, no, and the Florida's not happening anytime soon. Maybe do some meals in different cool locations instead of just the kitchen. Well, and a big goal was to take this show on the road. But, yeah, Florida's having a hurricane right now. Huge hurricane. Oh, my God. <clears throat> Category four hurricane is about to hit Florida. Like their panhandle. My sisters have been under tornado watches and warnings on and off all, all day, all day. I was just thinking about you, yeah. My sisters, they're bracing room back only because they're getting like tornado warnings like left and right. My sister Maria sent like this crazy video to um, the group chat. They're all in Florida except two of them, right? Except for two, but they're still getting rain yeah. because that's how big this hurricane is. And she, my sister Maria sent the video to um, the group chat, and it, she was just like, down low, it doesn't, the wind, it's windy, but it doesn't sound loud, but like the wind up high is loud. And I was like, what the hell does that mean? Until she sent the video, I was like, holy shit. It was crazy. Because it doesn't sound loud, and like down low, it doesn't sound loud, but like then you can just hear like the winds whipping, like higher up in the air. It was crazy. It was a crazy video. Yeah, people still want to move there. I still do want to go to Florida. I would love to move there. Yeah, but I'm like, I would love to move there. If I tell you guys, put it this way: if I tell you the real reason, and um, it would cause an argument. And I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna go there, and it would just it just it's not worth. Was it argument with who? Me, you? In general, I'd rather not say why Florida is not happening this year. It will happen eventually. Like I do want to move there, but I need to be. Um, I need to be. I I I. I I need to have all my ducks in line. If that makes any sense. I loved Get Florida. Down. I loved it from the moment I got there. <laughs> but it's like... How long... When's the last time we were there? Three years ago? 2021. Okay. How many, how many hurricanes and storms and warnings and st things that have happened? That can all happen here. Sure, okay, but it hasn't. Shit, but it haven't. has, though. Yeah, the Superstorm Sandy. What are you talking about? That was a long time ago. Florida, it seems like every two months, three months, something's going on. You know what I mean? We haven't even had snow in the last three years. And I'm not complaining about it. Yeah, financial stability. Exactly. Mm-mm. I think one day me and Kaki will be Floridians. We'll be living there eventually. Just not right now. You know? I think we will. What, here in Florida? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but just not this year. Just oh no, not this year. I don't want it to might be another year or two before we do that. Hello, Berta. I don't like your negativity. Very unlikely. Here. Well, let's be real. What, what, what? Let's be real. Well, let's see which. Where, what's where the, are let's you see, from? Hey, Berta. Let's let's uh, let's see. Berta. What the, let's see what you're talking about first before we start jumping to conclusion. Very unlikely here, meaning it could be talking about weather, talking about okay. financial stability, not necessarily being negative towards us. You know what I mean? All ears burner. 
LG, I'm in Miami, but I'd love to relocate to Orlando. We were we were th looking at Orlando. Weather. Yeah. <sighs> when you when someone says the panhandle, where That's is that? That's the panhandle of Florida. So you know how Florida has like that. I don't. No. Never mind. I can't describe geography to Jamie because he doesn't get it. But yeah, Panhandle of Florida is about to be annihilated. If it's if a Category Four hits the Panhandle of Florida, they're going to be annihilated. But what's what area is the Panhandle? That's what I'm trying to get at. I'm trying to describe to you the, the shape of Florida. Florida looks like a giant frying pan. Mm -hmm. So it's like this. Here's the panhandle. Here's the panhandle right here. And then Florida goes like this. It's a giant peninsula. But there's this little skinny strip. That's the panhandle. It looks like a pan. It's not like a pan. Okay. Upper left hand. That would be the keys. Mm -hmm. No, the keys are down south. The keys are not affected. The Florida keys are not affected. They're way down south. Well. Oh. <laughs> the panhandle of Florida, which is like Tallahassee. If I remember correctly, it's Tallahassee. That's like one of the major towns. Okay. Yeah. The Gulf Coast. It's the Gulf. It's all on the Gulf Coast. Yeah. If, if a Cat Four hits, it's going to be very destructive. When is this hurricane supposed to hit? I don't know. I don't know, but <clears throat> my sisters are all of them under. The ones that are in Florida are under um, tornado warnings right now, and they're sending videos of the freaking wind because they say the wind isn't ridiculous, which the wind is insane. The wind is completely insane. It's huge. It's hitting now. Mm -hmm. The hurricane itself is massive. They didn't want to. They didn't want to ex like leave. Where the, this hurricane is hitting, they're on the opposite side. They're on the Atlantic coast side. But they're getting all the effects of everything. They're getting the outskirts of the bands and shit. Okay. Well, hopefully everything is okay. Hit landfall about two hours ago. Well, I'm, st I'm still getting texts from them, so... I know that they're all right. It'll be coming through Atlanta in the next few hours. Thank you, Nancy. Yeah, I know. It's gonna pass. It's gonna pass all the way up through the Northeast. I'm sure we'll we'll get the remnants well, of we, it. We'll be getting like white oh, rain. Oh no, we're probably gonna get the remnants of it here, like the rain and stuff in the next few days. It's gonna be a late night for you guys. <clears throat> no, no, Nancy said it's going to be a late night for us. No. Um, I don't have, no. no. She doesn't mean me and you. I think she meant herself. Oh, uh, yeah, no. I was, okay. Anybody that is in Florida or is experiencing the storm, yeah, I'm sure you're going to be uh, having a hard time going to sleep and that kind of stuff. I know you're talking about oh, It's already past Florida. Homie Bloppers, yep. Bambino. <laughs> I got two more minutes. Oh, you're in Atlanta, Nancy. <clears throat> supposed to rain really bad here in Tennessee, in Tennessee tomorrow. tomorrow. yeah. Hello, Pam. Oh, stop. Uh-uh. It crushed the panhandle mm -hmm. when it hit. It's one of, if not the wildest hurricanes in history. It was a category four. That shit's no joke. 
What was Hurricane Sandy? Hurricane Sandy was considered a superstorm. It was Superstorm Sandy because it was it combined um, a nor'easter with a hurricane and they became like a hybrid mix and that shit was bad too. That was really bad. People were flooded. If you lived on Long Island or in like the Northeast when that happened back in 2012, that shit was bad. It was bad. There was a gas shortage. Mm -hmm. I remember. It was horrible. You could only get gas if every other day if your license plate like ended in like an odd or an even number. That's the only way you could get gas. Number one. And you need cash. If you were lucky enough to get gas, because there was a gas shortage, it was really bad. We had a tree that fell on our house at the time. Yeah. Thankfully, nobody was hurt, yeah. and it didn't affect, like, the house or whatever, but, like, the tree just fell in the house. Scary still, because we had a little baby at the time. We had, our son was only, like, five months old. Are you still working on your cookbook, Jamie? No. I wonder. Uh, those burgers? As I almost trip over, trip over my <laughs> sock. <laughs> Um, man, they were good. I write your name on your body. I don't know about that. That seems a bit extreme. Huh? What happened? <clears throat> Somebody said... No, oh, it's gone now. It's not there no more. So uh, somebody probably freaking got them, got rid of them, because what they said was a bit extreme. What was it? Extreme? Oh no, here it is. No, it is. They told people that didn't evacuate in Florida to use a sharpie and write your name on your body. Mm. Maybe it did. Don't know. I think I'm gonna be done with the burgers for a while. <coughs> oh my god. Uh, Jamie, you would have loved the mini burger sliders. Yes, the name of date of birth. That was on the news. Oh my god. Holy crap, that's crazy. How did you two meet? Karaoke. Uh -huh. Isn't it? Well, you're welcome, Ken. Anything we can do, you know? The sheriff said it about the Sharpie. <clears throat> that to me is just crazy. I can't. Did you give up on it? What, the cookbook? I just don't have fucking time. I'm going to be honest with you. Would it be something I would want to do? Yeah. But it's like, and a lot of people don't understand this. You see like the social media videos. But it's like, I have a full-time job. I have two kids. I've got a khaki. I've got an exercise routine. I don't have as much time as people think. And um, it's just, it's a lot. I'm like, I'm... Me and Kaki don't get a lot of sleep as it is. So when I have time to do it, I mean, I would like to do that one day. I still have some recipes that I did do, but nowhere near enough for a book. Oh, Ken, that's wonderful. Ken said, just want to say thank you, guys. You're getting me through my chemo treatments. I appreciate you guys. Yeah, that's what I'm Oh, Ken. Yeah. I hope you have a speedy recovery. I really do. Cut out the boom boom. We're not cutting out the boom boom. That don't take that long. I've got a Kagi. I mean, he has me. And I'm all out of work. I am all out of work. <laughs> He's got to deal with my ass. 
I'm not an easy person to deal with. I don't know if you have known me yet, but. <laughs> they said cut out the boom boom? They said, yeah, cut out the boom boom. LOL. <laughs> no. We're not cut. That, listen, the boom boom is the only thing that's not getting cut out. You know what else is getting cut out? That's getting more time than anyone. Some of you guys. <laughs> Some of you guys get cut out. Not the boom boom. We need the boom boom. <laughs> well, that's not because of me. He has a khaki. Haha, <laughs> Jamie's hilarious. Yeah, well. He has a khaki. I have a Jamie. So. He has a khaki. I have a Jamie. We're just those types of people. <laughs> yeah, no. I think, I think one day, eventually, <clears throat> it'll happen. But my best recipes come off of me just having fun in the kitchen and not knowing how much ingredients to use. You know? We'll see, though. You never know. Are you ready to wrap it up? Mm -hmm. I gotta get my, uh... Gotta clean my mouth. So, we will... Your house looks spotless. It's not. It's definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> Look a little closer. Um, we will see you guys tomorrow night for pizza. Pizza dough is out on the counter. I'm going to let it proof overnight. And then, uh, oh my goodness, I'm so happy it's Friday. I'm so freaking happy it's Friday. I'll be happy when it's Saturday. Yeah. But we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night, good night. Have a good night, guys. Mm -hmm.